Greetings, welcome back to the man cave. Today we are going to cook some fire roasted chicken in the new pit barrel cooker. So let's get started. Okay, I've got my charcoal basket filled up here and we're going to go ahead and use the lighter fluid method again to start this today instead of the chimney method. We'll come back to that a little bit later. We'll put a little lighter fluid on the coals there and then we'll set it in the barrel. Okay, I'm going to set this charcoal basket down into the bottom of the pit barrel cooker. We'll take our lighter and fire it up. And I think we determined last time that uh, at my altitude we're going to do a 15 minute warm up. So I'm going to start the timer and we will uh, start prepping our chickens while this is warming up. Okay, I'm going to show you how we're going to break down this chicken to hang in the pit barrel cooker. The first thing we're going to do is take the backbone out and I'm going to use my poultry shears and go right down both edges of the backbone. Then we'll flip it around, come in from the bottom side. And I like to save these backbones for making chicken stock, so I usually put them in a vacuum seal bag. Next thing we're going to do is spread the chicken open, locate the keel bone right here in the middle. I'm going to take my knife and make an incision down along the edges of the keel bone and through the cartilage up at the top portion of the keel. Just like that. Then we're going to flip the chicken over and pull it apart and we'll just pop the keel bone out. So we'll come back down, flip it back over and pull the keel bone right out. Now our chicken's basically in half so we're going to take a knife and cut it into two parts. Then we'll take one of our hooks and we're going to get come on the outside with the pointed part, actually come on the inside right underneath the bone here. Push that through and come up under the wing with it on the outside where we have it looking like that. We're going to do that with both pieces. And now we'll season up our chicken. Okay, I'm going to coat both sides of this chicken and we're going to use uh, the Pit Barrel Cooker Company's all-purpose pit rub for this. So let's get started. We're going to sprinkle a good liberal dose of this on both sides of this chicken. I'm cooking four chickens today, so I've got eight halves. We'll pat it on and then we'll flip these guys over and hit the back side. And I'll get all of these seasoned up and we'll be back to put them on the grill. Okay, we're ready to hang our chickens on. So we're going to hang these guys right on the rods. And we're going to cook for two hours. So we'll get all of these on here. Alrighty. We'll close it up. See you two hours. We are two hours in, so we're gonna take a look here. This chicken looks like it's done, and I'm gonna show you now. We got the uh, little hook tool, the little wooden tool. We're gonna pick these guys up, take them off the grill, and we're gonna have a look at this meat here in just a moment. Alrighty. I'm a sucker for a drumstick, so I am going to take one off right here. And we're going to have a bite of this and see what she tastes like. Mmm. Man, that's tender. Look at that just pull apart. Wow. Wow. That's fantastic. 
Well, folks, that Pit Barrel uh, Rub Company all-purpose seasoning has a fantastic flavor. I like that a lot. I'm going to have to talk to Noah. I'm going to have to see about ordering some more of that because that's probably one of the better, better chicken rubs I've tasted. I like it a lot. There's quite a few chicken rubs that I like, but this one's going to go right up there with those. So I'm going to shut down here, and I'm going to pull all this meat off the bone and get it bagged up. And uh, see you next time, Man Cave Meals.